Ready to do this? Pretend like you don't make me vomit in my nose every time I look at you. Yes. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fake relationship movies. Okay, now let's get this deal straight one more time. Um, we only pretend to hang, right? Uh, no hand-holding, kissing, and I get my lunch hour off. You're starting to get a reputation, and you're coming off as a little pious. Ma'am, I need everybody out of this recreational vehicle immediately. Okay, I'm just gonna put the baby down. You're gonna and put we the baby away. For this list, we're looking at films that feature two people who pretend to date, have a relationship, whether physical or emotional, or to be married. Sometimes they even end up falling in love. And on that note, spoiler alert. Did your favorite make the list? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. What Happens in Vegas What Happens in Vegas stars Cameron Diaz and Ashton Kutcher as Joy and Jack two people who get married in Vegas after meeting there and partying together. Are you dumping me? You didn't? No, I was coming down here to dump you. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we're good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, disaster averted. They plan to get a quickie divorce, but their plans change when Jack unexpectedly comes into a significant amount of money. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a giant colorful check to deposit. Whatever happened to what's mine is yours, baby. We're married now. Remember? In order to be able to split the funds, the two have to prove to a judge that they're working on their relationship for six months, even if the last thing they want to do is actually be together. Ready to do this? Pretend like you don't make me vomit in my nose every time I look at you. Yes. This rom-com is full of hilarious moments, and some sweet ones as the two eventually develop feelings for one another. Number 9. Drive Me Crazy Nicole and Chase, played by Melissa Joan Hart and Adrian Grenier, grew up next door to one another and were great friends. Until they went to junior high and ended up in totally different social circles. Do you look at them? Be away at college next year. Time flies. Seems like only yesterday they were practically living together in the <laughs> old treehouse. Dad, milk. Mom. Seriously, you two used to do everything together. What happened? After they both get dumped before their high school centennial dance, the two former BFFs decide to team up in order to make their respective exes jealous. We can't do this halfway. You know, if we expect people to buy it, it's got to feel real through and through. That makes sense. They don't figure that they'll actually forget the people who broke up with them and fall for each other. But of course, because this is a romantic comedy, that is exactly what ends up happening. So who are we making jealous? Everyone, Nicole. Everyone. Number 8. Green Card Fake relationship movies often begin with a couple who can't stand each other, and Green Card is no exception. These people are due here any minute, and you stroll around my apartment touching my things. Do you realize the situation that you've put me in, do you? I'm sorry, Betty. It's Bronte. Andy McDowell and Gerard Depardieu play an American woman and a Frenchman who enter into a marriage of convenience so that he can get a green card and stay in the country. She uses their relationship to leverage her way into the New York City apartment that she's always dreamed of. No, we don't say anything. Just a friend, staying for a couple of nights. This is New York. You're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, you sleep on the couch and we split expenses. <laughs> I'll cook. Hmm? Unfortunately, the Immigration and Naturalization Service becomes skeptical of the legitimacy of their union, and the couple has to actually move in together, where they test each other's tolerance for one another. Now you go. Ow. Give you. Ow. A week tomorrow. Now. Are you upset? 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 Out. Number seven, the wedding banquet. Under the authority vested in me by the state of New York. I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. Ang Lee directed this Taiwanese romantic comedy that makes up one part of what's been dubbed his Father Knows Best trilogy. This is a story where a fake relationship is central to the plot, but doesn't result in a love match between the two participants. And that's because Wei Tung is gay and happily in a relationship with Simon in New York. In order to conceal his sexual orientation from his conservative family, he pretends to be engaged to a woman. Meanwhile, Wei Wei has her own reasons for needing the relationship. She's living in poverty and needs a green card to stay in the U.S. However, they certainly did not expect Wei Tong's parents to come from Taiwan to plan the titular banquet with them. But that is exactly what they have to contend with. Wei Tong, Wei Wei. Number 6. Can't Buy Me Love 
The plot of Can't Buy Me Love involves a high school nerd, Ronald, paying one of his popular classmates, Cindy, $1,000 to pretend to date him for a month in an attempt to get in with the cool crowd. Okay, now let's get this deal straight one more time. Um, we only pretend to hang, right? Uh, no hand-holding, kissing, and I get my lunch hour off. Well, that's not our deal. I need more return on my investment. Well, there's no way I'm holding your hand in public. Unexpectedly, however, Cindy ends up developing a crush on Ronald after their time together starts to come to a close. The problem is that he overdoes it in their faux breakup and winds up insulting her. I'm tired of you comparing me to Bobby. And in fact, I'm tired of you. Period. <laughs> because it's a rom-com, however, they of course make it work in the end. Okay, how about kissing? Yeah, it's important. That's a must. Definitely. <laughs> Number five, Easy A. Oh, yeah. Go forth, my son. You're a man now. Easy A is inspired by Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter, and also takes inspiration from many of the fake relationship movies that came before it. Emma Stone plays Olive Pendergast, a high schooler who tells a simple lie that ends up spiraling out of control. Listen, I'm not the one that you have to answer to for your depraved behavior. There's a higher power that will judge you for your indecency. Tom Cruise. She soon realizes that she can get benefits for both herself and others by pretending to get physically intimate with guys at school, even though she's a virgin. You know, you're starting to get a reputation. And you're coming off as a little pious. Easy A breaks the typical fake relationship story mold because Olive doesn't pretend to be dating the person she ends up with. Number four, to all the boys I've loved before. Wake up! Are you okay? What happened? You fainted. To All the Boys I've Loved Before became an internet sensation after being released on Netflix in 2018, and for good reason. The love story between introvert Lara Jean and jock Peter Kavinsky plays on many popular high school romance tropes, including the fake relationship. These two start pretend dating to make his ex jealous and cover up Lara Jean's crush on her sister's ex-boyfriend. Here's the thing. Mm. I don't actually like you. I just had to make it look like I liked you so somebody else wouldn't think that I liked them. Oh, okay. Okay, who? What? But the two have undeniable chemistry that makes their fake relationship turn real really quickly. The candy-colored cinematography palette, awesome soundtrack, and adorable cast makes this movie all the more lovable. Hi. There's no one like you, Cody. Number three, Pretty Woman. One of the most iconic romance movies of all time is based on a fake relationship. Richard Gere's Edward Lewis is a successful businessman who hires a streetwalker, Vivian, played by Julia Roberts. After spending the night together, he offers her money to pretend to be his girlfriend for the next few days. Holy shit! <laughs> Vivian. Vivian, is that a yes? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. It's a classic fish out of water story, with Vivian struggling to fit into Edward's world and being poorly treated by many of the people he associates with. So, you're the flavor of the month. Uh, she's just being testy. Edward's our most eligible bachelor. Everybody is trying to land him. Well, I'm not trying to land him, I'm just using him for sex. Despite their differences and the vastly different social sets they occupy, they manage to find common ground and develop real feelings for one another. So what happened after he climbed up the tower and rescued her? She rescues him right back. Number two, we're the Millers. You can't buy me. I'm not buying you, all right? I'm renting you. Like Pretty Woman. What is it with Jennifer Aniston in fake relationship movies? In 1997, she starred in Picture Perfect, where she faked having a fiancé to get a promotion. In 2011, she acted alongside Adam Sandler in Just Go With It, where she pretends to be married to his character. And in 2013, she had a primary role in We're the Millers. In that film, she plays a stripper who poses as a suburban wife and mother. Oh, come on. Relax, Dorothy. Jesus. We're not at the border yet. Who cares what these people think? <sighs> it's about not drawing attention to ourselves, you little hobo. Pot dealer David Clark hires her, along with two teens, to act as fake family members that'll help him with a drug smuggling plot to pay off his debt. Unlike most of the other movies on our list, this isn't a romance focusing more on a comedic crime caper. We're not related at all, any of us. Mm -mm. No, 
We're just friends. No, no we're, we not. Are not we're not friends. We're not friends. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the proposal. Uh, we're, uh, we're getting married. We are getting married. <laughs> who, who is getting married? You and I. You and I are getting married. Released in 2009, the proposal manages to encompass countless fake relationship tropes. It involves an opposites attract romance with the two leads positively loathing one another at the beginning, and it includes a green card type plot. The story hinges on Margaret, a high-powered editor and Canadian who is about to be deported from the U.S. As such, she forces her American assistant Andrew to marry her in order to allow her to stay in the country. I'm not going to marry you. Sure you are. Because if you don't marry me, your dreams of touching the lives of millions with the written word are dead. As so often happens in this sort of rom-com, however, their faux engagement ultimately leads to a real love story. I'm scared. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.